you're looking for the most fun you and your horse can have together, then you need to take a look at the fastest growing equine sport today, ranch sorting. Take a little bit of cutting, a tad of reining, and throw in a whole lot of fun. And you've got ranch sorting. The best part of ranch sorting is that you don't have to be a professional. Just have a horse, a teammate, and a desire to have fun in a fast-paced competition with the cows. And with this becoming the fastest growing equestrian sport in the country, you're sure to find a competition near you. And if not, then it's a great opportunity for you to start one in your local area. Welcome to the Ranch Sorting National Championships. It all started back in 1918 when Philip Miller opened the Stockman Farmer Supply Company. You might even remember the Miller Stockman Western School. What Philip Miller thought would be a two week trip to Denver to sell a few hats turned into what is now Miller International. We're still bringing high quality clothing to Denver and the rest of the world with our signature brand, Cinch Jeans. We've been here in Denver for a long time. We've got your jeans, Cinch Jeans by Miller International, Denver, Colorado since 1918. Let's take a closer look at this sport. Ranch sorting is generally a two-person team, sorting 10 cattle numbered 0 through 9 and one unnumbered cow, called the blank or the trash cow, for a total of 11 head. Using two 60-foot diameter round pens with a 12 to 16-foot gate opening between them, the object is to sort the cows in order from one pen to the other, starting with a randomly selected number called out by the announcer when the timing flag is dropped. If the announcer calls out a five, cow five has to be sorted first, then six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, and four in progressive sequence. One person of the team is the sorter, and the other member of the team is the gate man, and they can alternate roles during their run. The cows must be sorted in order. If a cow passes through the gate out of order or manages to sneak back into the sorting ring, the team is disqualified. The object is to get as many cows in order through the gate into the other pen in the allotted time. Oh yeah, did we tell you? You have just 60 seconds to do all of this. Slow and methodical can be just as effective as fast and furious. You and your teammates map your strategy and work it against the unpredictable cows and see what happens in the next 60 seconds. Even if you're a complete novice, you can enjoy ranch sorting. With multiple divisions and a rating system, you're paired with horses and riders of similar skills. So you'll never feel intimidated by the competition. Good job right there, that is very nice. I'd like to say a great big thank you to Mr. James Miller. You watched the store a little bit ago. There are multiple divisions, such as the Masters, where both teammates must be age 50 or above. Thank you. 
Eight. And number eight. All right, while well, you know, you take them, you got loud. If you're a kid, you're the placer. We need you down to the case, the short stand. If you're a kid, you're the placer. We need you to the case, the short stand, the short stand. They might Oklahoma as a member of the so we have the part of the home line sound. Say that again. I think it's the case of officially right now in the state of West Coast. and a strong youth division where youngsters have the time of their lives and everything in between. SNC President Dave Wolf talks with a competitor who never imagined herself in the show ring. Hi folks, I'm Dave Wolf. I'm the president of the Ranch Sorting National Championships. We're right here in Ardmore, Oklahoma at the RSNC National Finals. I have Jackie Dayberry here with Sweet Pro Feeds uh, as one of our sponsors and we appreciate you being here, Jackie. Thank you. It was great to be here. You bet. Hey, I tell you what, Jackie has never ranch sorted and guess what? We got her out there on a horse this week, and, and uh, she had a lot of fun. Uh, Jackie has a lot of experience with horses, but uh, this was her first time ranch sorting, and we're excited to have you out there playing with us. Tell us a little bit about your, your horse background and, and uh, what led you to get on that horse and go out there and ranch sort with us. 
Well, I, mm. I grew up on horses, um, and then I started cutting about 18 years ago. And I came here, we came to, to be an exhibitor and be a sponsor of the Ranch Sorting National Championships. And a friend of mine said, hey, you need to get out here and try this. And I said, no, nah. I said, I don't have any horses in shape. And uh, she said, it doesn't matter. She said, you need to go gather something and get it. So I pulled a horse out of the pasture that hadn't been ridden in a year. <laughs> and I felt sorry for him. But anyway, we got out there in the beginner class and did well. And we wound up in the finals. And I think we wound up fifth in the finals. Oh, so awesome. I was tickled. I had a blast. <laughs> oh, that's great. You know what? That's what our sport is all about. It's, it's the, the weekend horse enthusiast or the professional horseman. We have a spot for all of them. But... We can pick up anybody that owns a horse, that can put a leg over a horse, and we can get them out there in an arena in our event and make them feel successful. We have different ratings for everybody, so everybody has a chance to compete. And Jackie, you just proved it. You know, when we pull our vendors out of the vendor booth and we put them in the arena at our national finals and they end up fifth, I mean, it, it talks a lot about our sport right there. Oh, I tell you what, if you've never tried it, I mean, people need to try it. Uh, my niece was sitting here with me, and she's a city girl, and she said, I want to get out there and try it. And I said, go get on old Taz and go get her done. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's just it's that kind of a deal. And, and uh, what I really enjoyed about it is the camaraderie between all the people. Uh, everybody was real friendly, and I know I had some draw. I had to draw in my class, and I'm not used to doing that kind of thing, right. but I was able to meet some new people doing that. And, uh, you know, it, it, it also helps you improve in the sport. Yep. I've done a lot of ranch sorting at home in the pens, you know, the real deal, where we'd gather four or 600 head and, and have to sort off there. But when you're in a one-minute situation, it's a whole lot different. <laughs> right, exactly. It puts some speed at, to the event. At home, your time is based on how much sunlight you've got. There you go. <laughs> Here it's not. <laughs> no, I think, I think, you know, that the exciting thing about this is anybody can do it, obviously. And we have promoted this sport all across the United States. We had 270 sanctioned events this year. We're going to have over 4,000 teams at our national finals this year. And, you know, we haven't even cracked the oh, no. barrel open because there's so many that can play the sport. And, Jackie, we're excited to have you here, not only as a vendor with Sweet Pro, but also on a horse competing at our national finals. Oh, I'm tickled to be here, and I'm going to do it again tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Thank you. We've got your genes. We've got your genes. We've got your genes. Cinch Genes by Miller International. Denver, Colorado since 1918. Welcome back to the National Ranch Sorting Championships. One of the highlights of the week-long competition was the celebrity sorting, which featured well-known names in the cutting and reigning industry, as well as other dignitaries. Nine. Got number nine. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Making this truly an international event was legendary Australian horseman Guy McLean, who entertained the crowd during the crowd bidding for their favorite team. Having just arrived in America with his four talented horses, Guy McLean entertained and thrilled the crowd with his demonstrations and clinics of exceptional horsemanship and rapport with his horses. And that's 
why he can maintain and hold in work like that. Personality, and though I want to mould it, I do not want to take it away from him. See, well, as I said, I told you that he was late there. It's because he's been stood on a bit. Visit their website for more information and to purchase their products. Welcome back to the National Ranch Sorting Championships. And while most people would do it just for the pure fun and excitement, the Nationals held each year in Ardmore, Oklahoma, are a nonstop shower of cash prizes, saddles, awards, and more. Every one of the saddles, jackets, and cash bags hanging over the arena was awarded to the competitors below. When we talk about it raining money, it really did in Ardmore. See what we mean? And to keep it interesting, the Ranch Sorting National Championships even has a bareback competition where riders really get to show their seat in the heat of competition. There's the Sadie Hawkins competition. Yeah, looky here. Straight from the streets of work. Holy cow. Flag is up. Flag is up. Dear God, one, one. Got number one. Oh, oh. Katrina Bull, Sandy Lee, watch him ride. What about that smoking hot cowgirl jewelry that this girl wears? I'm telling you what. I think if I'd have been available, Rowdy, I might have got asked. This is it. Hey, Katrina Bull, Sandy Lee, watch him ride. Oh, little tough luck for the team tonight. Little tough luck. Give me a big round of applause right there. Here are the results for the Luxduck class. Mike and Candy, flag is up. Two, two, cattle number two. Four on 12, number one. Yeah, 
Riders from 24 states converged on Ardmore, Oklahoma to compete for honors in their division and during the show, the top 10 riders from each state were presented to an enthusiastic crowd reception. Ranch sorting is exploding and this year's nationals saw over 3,800 teams compete for major prizes. There will be over 300 sanctioned shows for this next year. And if you're interested in being part of one, or sponsoring one in your local area, check with the RSNC website for more information. How about it for our home state of Oklahoma? How about it for Wisconsin? the state of Florida. Perhaps having the most fun were the kids in the youth division. The youngsters are every bit as competitive as the adults, making this an exceptional activity for the entire family. There are very few equine sports where the entire family can compete and take home bragging rights until the next competition.
Sportsmanship is the hallmark of this sport, and with the pairing of individuals for teams during the week's competition, new friendships that will last a lifetime are also created. Just another benefit of ranch sorting and the sheer fun and enjoyment associated with it. your jeans and the clothes you'll like wearing every day of your life come see us at the cinch factory store we're right here in denver at 8500 zuni street in the miller international building the cinch factory store 8500 zuni street in denver we've got your jeans cinch jeans by miller international denver colorado since 1918 Between competitions, those attending can browse a wide range of vendors with a wide assortment of trailers, horse products, apparel, tack, riding accessories, supplements, and much more. Ranch sorting is a sport the entire family can enjoy. And as you can see, you don't have to be a professional or experienced rider or have an expensive horse to have the time of your life. Pick up a teammate, bring your horses, and a desire to enjoy this great Western Heritage event. And let the fun begin. No matter what age or experience level, you'll have the time of your life. Two, two. Oh, Miss Page is moving in on my side, Arlen. We're working on one. Whoa!
Sound like the most fun you and your family, friends, and horses can have together? We thought so. Whether you want to attend a sanctioned competition, start or sponsor a new competition, or just learn more about the fastest growing equine sport in North America, your journey should start at the RSNC website, where full details on membership and participation can be found. Just visit www.ranchsorting.com for all the information. It all started back in 1918, when Philip Miller opened the Stockman Farmer Supply Company. You might even remember the Miller Stockman Western School. What Philip Miller thought would be a two-week trip to Denver to sell a few hats turned into what is now Miller International. We're still bringing high-quality clothing to Denver and the rest of the world with our signature brand, Cinch Jeans. We've been here in Denver for a long time. We've got your jeans, Cinch Jeans, by Miller International, Denver, Colorado, since 1918. 